Before we begin, everyone do me a favor and read a little thing I wrote called the Federalist Papers. Yeah. I explain how a nation's unlikely to survive without a strong central government to keep it alive. When I launched the central bank, Jefferson called me ill. Now you have my face to thank on every $10 bill. When America was cash-strapped, I pushed past that. Now some sicko makes crypto and our nation backtracks. Decentralized currency? Yes, I invented it. I'm sure many governments wish they had prevented it. The national cash is how they keep control. But freedom to the people was my ultimate goal. Am I a pseudonym? A group of men? It doesn't even matter. I invented Bitcoin because fiat is a disaster. A man from Japan over a damn hologram. I'm the reason open season on crypto began. Does anybody know what this crypto thing means? To me, sounds like the new get broke quick scheme. A bunch of fools from across the land investing in something they don't even understand. Buying Litecoin cash, Bitcoin cash. It's all gonna crash and be gone in a flash. All this unsupported money is an irrational prank. And I'll be laughing all the way to my national bank. <laughs> yeah, dude, super funny. As if banks these days still help people make money. The rich get richer and we follow like we're all sheep. The banks serve Wall Street. Crypto serves all streets. The interest in crypto is on rapid ascent. What's your current interest? Like half a percent? I'm sorry, the bank's gone past its peak. But I want info encrypted, not hacked and leaked. If this crypto system will be our salvation, it needs to be centralized. It needs regulation. If our central database gets how you say hack, insurance will just make a case to get your money. Money back, cause in fact it's trapped, and the money leaves a trail. Central currency is strong, cryptocurrency is frail. Untraceable money, wow, so clever. One typo in your address, now it's gone forever. Crypto is frail, that's the essence of your lesson. Your money leaves a trail, yeah, a trail to a recession. A bunch of rich white guys made this system. Why would they ever change it when it made them rich men? Movie moguls fought hard against the VCR. Horse and buggy manufacturers all hated the car. So why would I take my advice from the banks? I don't need a bailout to survive, thanks.